Mmm, pancakes. All right, what's up, guys? It's Pancake King Diamond here. And today, I have another new story for you guys. I just did the Fallout 4 one a couple hours ago, I know. But I just saw this, and I thought it was interesting as well. So, hey, why don't I just do this one as well? So, yeah, why don't we just get into it? So, according to an unnamed source that is speaking exclusively with VG247, and hopefully it's a trustful source, because I don't think they would report on it if it's not a trustful source. Um, so, according to this source, Dark Souls 3... Um, is going to be announced this month at E3. The source did not give a platform for the announcement yet, but all they know is it's going to be announced at E3, and they say it's probably likely going to be announced at Sony's press conference. And that's all really of what the source said, and it's odd because of the timing of this thing, because um, Dark Souls 2, the upgraded version for um, the uh, next-gen systems, was just released this year, and Bloodborne, the spiritual successor to the Souls series, was released this year as well. And if you guys are worried that if this is true, this will take away from Bloodborne and all that stuff, but don't worry, Shuhei Yoshida has already confirmed um, that DLC will be coming in the future and that they'll have details later this year. Now, take this rumor with a huge, humongous grain of salt, guys. Do not take this completely to heart, because... The timing on this, to me, just does not fit exactly right, because Bloodborne was just released this year. It was released a couple months ago. It's been, like, when was it released? It was, like, April something, I think. Um, so, yeah, the game was just released, and Dark Souls 2 was just ported over to next-gen systems, so they have had a lot of stuff going on over there at From Software. Um, so, it doesn't seem to me like... The timing of this thing is exactly fitting with the development of this game, because I don't think they've had time since the development ended of Bloodborne to exactly start working on a full-fledged sequel to Dark Souls 3. And, of course, they're going to be working on Bloodborne DLC, because that game has probably got a lot of stuff expanded to do. Like, there's probably going to be a lot of DLC for that game. And they'll say they'll do that later this year, like I said before. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be probably really busy developing uh, Bloodborne DLC. So, as I see it, um, the timing does not fit right on this. So, just take this rumor with a humongous grain of salt. It would be fucking awesome if it was announced at E3. So, let's just hope that it is. But the timing just does not fit with this. I don't think they've had time to properly develop it. And if they announce it this early, I think they just may be shooting themselves in the foot because of... The hype that is probably going to be surrounding it, and it may not be coming out for a couple of years, if that's the case. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get some sort of news on some Dark Souls, maybe like a little hint about it. Um, but I don't think we're going to get a full-fledged announcement like this source is saying, because the time does not fit right. They'll be shooting themselves in the foot if they actually do. And yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see to, when E3 comes to see what they're going to be saying about it. So make sure I don't in the comments below your opinion on this news. What do you think about this? Do you think Dark Souls 3 will be announced this year at E3 or not? Um, and would you like to see a Dark Souls 3 in the near future? Make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video because that'd be really awesome if you did. That's been Pancake Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it's gonna be. And I probably know what it's gonna be, actually. Um, so yeah. Bye! Oh, <laughs>